Let's learn how to spawn objects in Unity. By the way, welcome to the channel where I cover game development content and tutorials. And if that's your thing, I hope to see you around. But let's get started. So I just have a simple scene right here. All I've done so far is just open a new default project, add in a plane, and then change the skybox for YouTube pizzazz. But if we want to spawn an object, we must first have an object to spawn. So I'm just going to create a simple sphere for us to reuse. All I'm going to do here is add this orange material that I pre-created so the sphere is easier to see. And I'm going to add a rigid body component to the sphere so that it has physics and is impacted by gravity. And if I test this out real quick, you can see that when I hit play, the sphere has gravity and falls to the plane. Cool. Now, if we want to spawn this sphere multiple times in our scene, we need to tell Unity that this sphere is reusable and not a one-time thing. And we can do that by simply dragging it into our assets folder, which will immediately turn this into a prefab, which is reusable. Now we need to create the logic for our sphere. So I'm going to create a new game object to hold this logic, and I'm going to call it spawner. On our spawner game object, I'm going to create a new script to write this logic, which for consistency's sake, I'm also going to name spawner. Now heading over to Visual Studio, I'm going to delete the start and update methods. I'm going to be testing our logic using a button, so I will not need them. But first, we need to tell Unity which object we want to spawn. So I'm going to create a public game object and name it my sphere that will hold the sphere that we just created in the Unity editor. Next, for the actual logic, we're going to create a function. It has to be public since we want to attach it to a button in the editor. And it's also going to be void since we're not returning any value. But the logic is pretty simple here. It's just instantiate and then passing through the variable that we just created, my sphere. But now our logic still doesn't know what my sphere is in the context of Unity. So this is where our prefab comes in. We can just drag and drop our sphere prefab into the slot that we created and we're good to go there. Now to actually test this logic, we need to create a button to call the function, which requires a canvas object. Now double click on that to see your whole canvas. And after we've created that, we can right click, go to UI and then button. If you're prompted here to import text mesh pro essentials, go ahead and do that. Now I'm creating a button just for the sole purpose of testing. Right now the logic just kind of exists in the void and is waiting to be used. There are multiple ways to test your own logic. I see a lot of other YouTubers will use the space key to test, but this is just another way. To hook up our logic, we'll go to our button element and find our way down to the on click section and click on the plus sign. In the first section that pops up, we need to drag and drop the spawn or game object that we created into this slot, since this is where the logic lives. Once we do that, since our function is public, it should show up as an option for us to select. And boom, we have a working button. Let's test this out. If we navigate back to the main part of the scene, we can just delete this sphere since we already have our logic done. Now if we press play, we can see that every time you press the button, a new sphere appears. But chances are you probably don't want something to spawn in the same place over and over again. And if that's the case, follow me to the next video where I'll show you how to spawn objects in random places.